Hello, and welcome to another OneStream tutorial. Today we will be talking about the newly added refund functionality. As shown in our stable release video, you can find that option in the logs section, then credit history logs. After going to the right hand side click the menu and you will see the refund option. Setting up the refund feature. The refund feature allows you to reverse certain transactions. Most used scenarios might be renewals and new line creations, which will be done within specific timeframes. A number of rollback transactions allowed, as the name points, will give you an option to set the maximum amount of rollback transactions a group or user can make. Disable it by setting it to zero. Rollback transaction limit period is a setting that will give you control of the number of days after a payment will be eligible for a refund. If you set the amount to zero that will disable it. Additional refund conditions. Only renewals and new line creations are eligible for refunds. Super admins are not subject to the group limits. The renewal or line activity must not exceed 10% used or have expired. The transaction must belong to the user requesting the refund. Examples If you set a 14-day rollback limit, but a customer wants to refund a yearly package. His refund won't be possible after 36 days or 10% of 365 days. If you set a 40-day rollback limit and the customer has a monthly line, refund will be possible within the first 3 days, which is 10% of 30 days. If the package's expiration date is based on line's first connection, it means the line can be opened for 30 minutes only, after that it won't be reachable. So a refund won't be possible under any conditions. Thank you for watching that one stream tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe for more.